Hello and welcome to Urban TV Nigeria. This is Newsflake reaching you from Nigeria's federal capital, Abuja. I am Comfort with Zokarua. Controversies have trailed the recent House of Assembly election which took place in Bauchi State. Two political gladiators, the Bauchi State Governor Balahabdu Kade of the PDP and Honorable Barrister Yakubu Dogara, the member representing Das Tafawa Baliwa and Boguru Federal Constituency. Bauchi State was seen in a fierce campaign battle for the survival of the parties and candidates. The election, however, ended with the whole Progressive Congress APC candidate Honorable Lukshi assuming the position of the State House of Assembly member for Das local government. The election took a religious dimension when a sitting commissioner, Honorable Abdurazak Novozaki, was alleged to have written a post on his Facebook timeline where he described the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Barrister Yakubu Dogara, as a dead carcass in the land of the infidels. He added that they may feast on him because to them there is nothing wrong with that, but if he wants to prove his word, let him contest for Senate or gubernatorial position in the state. In response, through the same Facebook account, the commissioner claimed that the Facebook account was hacked for the same purpose to dent his image and political career. His critics have, however, described this excuse as false, saying the commissioner launched an attack on the speaker with post on his Facebook timeline a few days to the election, and this was only one out of the several posts he made. They have earlier called on the governor to sack the commissioner for making such inciting and a derogatory statement which is capable of ruining the peace Bauchi state has enjoyed. Reacting to the statement on social media, many members of the Christian community have expressed disappointment that people in government position who ought to be preaching against aid speech and violence are the ones making such unguarded and uncaught statements at the detriment of peace in the state. They added that deciding to use religion to whip sentiment against one another or any group for that matter is the most heartfelt approach to handling any issue. All the people condemned the leadership recruitment in the state of Nigeria, stating that for the commissioner to be in his present position as a commissioner shows clearly that anybody can be at the top, irrespective of their integrity. Not to talk of the commissioner who is adding a sensitive ministry like local government and chief tenancy affairs. They urge Christians to forgive as it is the only option. In the same vein, on Wednesday, December 9, 2020, youth in Tefawa Balewa took to the street of the local government capital to protest what they called injustice to the Christian community. The youth demanded the immediate sack of the commissioner. They reminded the governor of their contribution towards his victory in 2019 and called on him to sack the commissioner to serve as a deterrent to those who intend to use religion to score cheap political points going forward. The protesting youths who were seen carrying placards written insult to Dogara is an insult to all Christians, among others, gave the governor 12 days ultimatum to take disciplinary action against the erring commissioner or else be ready to contend with their reactions. <laughs> Yeah, okay. 
According to them, the governor to exonerate himself from the statement he must do justice to the Christian community. They further stated that the protest had nothing to do with political party but that they want justice for the Christian community who have been peace loving. It should be recalled that the commissioner was an appointee of the former speaker during his leadership as the speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Barista Yakubu Dogara, at the camp from the PDP to the APC when they had an unresolved crisis with the governor who enjoyed the support during the gubernatorial elections in 2019, which gave him victory against the former governor, Bala Abdul Kader. I am Comfort Odokarowa, reporting from Abuja for Urban TV, Nigeria. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Urban TV Nigeria, Facebook, Urban TV Nigeria, and Instagram, Urban TV underscore Nigeria. Many thanks for watching.